uncomfortable now. Uh. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. How are you and doing? And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. content. It's so and juicy. of course, Tron and follow us on Fisher Twitter account. And today, uh, we are re- I have a treat for you. Oh, I thought it was like a liter literal treat. Oh. <laughs> we are reacting to a, another Zakar who sang. <gasps> the singer. No, tablet player. Oh, the tablet player, that's right, sorry, my the bad. legendary tablet player. Yes. And he's playing with Rakesh Chereshia. Who is one of the flute things? Sweet. That we have. Yes, of course. This is Zakir Hussain is the tablet guy yeah. that blew our mind and yeah. is like the greatest. He is the instrument. Yes. And then someone and then, playing a flute? Uh, well, I, yeah, it's a wind instrument of some kind. I don't know what the instrument will be introduced called, to. Yeah, of course. Beautiful. Uh, oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. I've yes, seen yes, it yes. in some videos, and I want to explore because we've explored other instruments, but uh, we haven't explored the wind instruments yet. Right. Uh, so I wanted to do that. Uh, so uh, I'm sure this is amazing because it's Zakir. Yeah. Secure, secure. I still want to be in a room like that. And watch. He said it's a Chinese piece called tuning. <laughs> and that's that little hammer. That's wonderful to see. I've never seen someone tune their, their tabla like that. I've never seen anybody tune their tabla. Yeah, I don't, that's what I meant. That sounds perverted, too. Tune, tune your tabla. <laughs> He's funny. He's funny.
new instrument. so happy. What a beautiful place that takes you to. Ah, oh, man. I, I know you guys told us what the instrument's called, but I, I still forget what they're actually called. Yeah, the called. two at the wind instruments yeah. that he was playing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that dude is insane uh, at playing whatever that is. I'm assuming it's a flute-type instrument? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a wood wind of some kind. <clears throat> Air is being blown into it. It's made of wood. <laughs> uh, and and it, it had, I don't know what imagery came into your mind while you were listening, because I had definitive imagery. I butterflies. Mentioned it. It butterflies, butterflies, babbling brook. But while you had your eyes closed, I was actually watching Z Zakir, and he was actually, while he was doing that, and Zakir was right, and he was actually going. <laughs> yeah. So he was doing that whole thing. Yeah, so. it very much had me. There's, there's movements within symphonies and entire symphonies that are what they call pastoral. And the pastoral movements or the pastoral symphonies are ones that, like the word, it's like a pasture. They, are, they, they bespeak nature and they have within them this whole optimistic sense of life and beauty and fragrance. And what I love about musical expression, especially at this level of mastery, is you're taking... Is the human being not just extraordinary, guys? You Some think of them. The, the human being... Those instruments were created by human beings and they're using these particular definitive constructs that are to the untrained hand and mouth are simply these hard things that will not create anything of beauty. But when they're put into the hand of someone masterful, you can take these cold, non-living things and create something that is definitively capturing the essence of life. I mean, that, that musical expression, his playing on the tabla sounded like water running over rocks and his wind instrument was the butterflies flitting. And I could see this, this meadow with a stream and flowers and grass and sky and life and peace and tranquility all from just these two men playing these inanimate objects. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. And the guy playing the flute, he was incredible, but oh. we've seen, what, three videos so far of Zakir? Yeah. And you'd think we'd be like, we would've been like, oh yeah, that's him. I was, I was still just as impressed each yeah. time. As I, as I was the time before. 100%. And it's something completely different. He yep. shows me something different every single time that I've never, ever seen before. Yeah. Uh, and th th I'm still amazed that he could just do this with his fingers. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And it also, I loved the piece in terms of it didn't uh, need, like a pastoral piece, it didn't need to give us any bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a lot of complexity in there sometimes. You're like, oh, but for the most part, it went from this little peaceful, tranquil thing to... A little bit. I saw some some galloping animals going through the area. It got a little bit excited. There was some playfulness of the antelope or whatever you were would be envisioning, but it, it never left that pastoral pasture riverside. Uh, man, I'd love to go visit that place again. That was just so so tranquil and beautiful. Shocker, Zakir is uh, really talented. Yeah, it's just it's this. There was that moment they showed uh, him playing his the. the 
whatever that instrument is called, and it was really close to him, and he was playing some intricacies, but you could see in his eyes, he was fixating on where he was going creatively, and that was a beautiful moment to see the artistry coming through his it's eyes great as that they listening. almost don't have to think either. They, yeah, they don't. Like, especially Zakir, he, you, he, you don't see thinking at all. No. You just see, this is, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm, I'm this much of a master at whatever I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> he, he is the instrument. Uh, the instrument yeah. is simply an extension of himself. And that's, with any mastery, we've talked about this before with, for example, there's a level you can reach of technical brilliance, say, on an electric guitar. Mm -hmm. And masters of electric guitar all have technical brilliance. But what adds the next level is you hear them through the technicality. They become one with the instrument. So when you're listening, I use this comparison all the time. When you listen to Eddie Van Halen play the electric guitar, and it's not just the sound pads that they choose, it's the technicality. I've always been impressed with Eddie's precision and his, his technical brilliance. But when I listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan play, yeah. there's something about the man's soul that I feel. And I am emotionally changed listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan play. I get excited listening to Eddie Van Halen and that's pretty much it. I can get amped up and impressed with the technicality, no offense to him. When I listen to Stevie Ray Vaughan play, I feel the guy. Yeah. And I feel these guys. I totally feel I would these love guys. love to see this guy in concert. Oh. Both of them. Uh, oh, yeah, to spend, to spend an hour or 90 minutes just that felt like in two, the room. Two seconds. I know. 